we were talking a lot about coronavirus, of course, because the numbers continue to tick higher, both in terms of cases and deaths. You say that if this does get contained, uh, th this might have sort of ended up checking uh, an overbought uh, investor sentiment. But, I mean, still, because uh, this morning the U.S. markets uh, are rallying. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, coming into this, John, we, you know, this year, we, we certainly all felt like, you know, the market was getting a little overbought, that sentiment was at least getting complacent, if not optimistic. And almost every year, you, you get some gut checks to that. Um, and if it wouldn't have been the coronavirus, it probably would have been some other headline that would have created, you know, some pullback here uh, fairly soon. And, uh, you know, the, who knows? I, I'm, I'm no pandemic expert. And, and if this thing is really protracted, uh, and last all year, that's a very serious economic event and market event. But uh, as these things have gone in the past, they're relatively quick. And I think the market mm. understands that it can look through a bad quarter economically. That we're going to look through a bad Boeing impact in this quarter, right. realizing it won't be there the rest of the year. And I think we're going to do the same thing with the coronavirus. And if it ends quickly, a lot of those people that are now in their cocoon, not traveling, not spending, I think they quickly catch up again in, in out quarters, which probably are stronger than first expected. Right. Yeah, I, Chris, I guess I'm asking, does this, what we've seen so far, even count as a gut check, uh, especially given how the U.S. markets are reacting this morning? You said a, a correction in technology stocks would be healthy, but Facebook is still above 200. Yes, some stocks like Disney, Comcast, Walmart, Dell, are down a bit, but Pinterest and Uber both still up 20% for the year. Is this the gut check that in tech that we've been looking for? Well, we spend a lot of our time more in the mid cap, small cap tech areas, so supply chains, capital equipment. So we think that that is at risk going into China. The companies we're talking to are trying to evaluate what is it that they can deliver? What's going to hold back? Where are their employees? What's the best path for their employees, which is a critical time for them to stand up for that? Um, so you know, we think it's probably more of a bump in the road. I mean, how long does this continue uh, with the health crisis? It, it clearly is. It's growing. Mm. It's not one to ignore. And, and I don't think we are. Um, but I think it's more a bump in the road. We've been looking at days like Friday as opportunities to be deploying capital, uh, you know, finding good value out there, names that we've been looking at and identifying. Uh, but, you know, there are some other areas that are still going to be pulling back. Uh, you know, airlines, for example, are not going to be selling seats. You can't remake those seats once it's done, it's passed. You know, things like semiconductor, semi-cap equipment, that could go through some pullback. But we would think that there's kind of a catch-up stage where we could push that forward later in the year, second, third quarter. So those deliveries could ultimately be made. But, you know, the way a lot of computer trading goes, they trade off headlines. That's opportunities for active managers like myself.